Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the expect assertion in Cypress. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned about the different Cypress assertions and we covered this shirt in the previous tutorial, right? And we also learned that there are two types of assertions. One are BD style and other are TD style. So in BD, we have should and expect and in TD style, we have assert. In this particular tutorial, we will be covering this expect but before that uh, we will be covering one more concept here which is really important so they are these assertions are further categorized into two and this categorization is basically known as implicit implicit and explicit so basically these assertions are further categorized as implicit assertions and explicit assertions so if we talk about which ones are implicit and which ones are explicit, basically the should and and dot and are basically implicit type of assertions. So these are basically implicit. Whereas this expect is basically explicit and this assert is also explicit here. So implicit are basically those assertions which are built in, which are built in. These are basically built in in Cypress. You just find the element and put the assertions. So that's how we, that's what we actually learned in our previous tutorial. However, in contrast, explicit assertions are those which we have to define on different responses right or different kind of a different kind of a data so different kind of a data here can be basically objects like json objects json objects then we can have arrays right we have some kind of strings coming from the server from the application so on this kind of a data we explicitly need to put a session. These are not built in assertions. And similarly, here in the case of assert here, we also need to define or assert those objects and arrays or any kind of a data. And we explicitly need to assert those. These are not built in because in, in short, you know that we just went to the element, we look at the element, we put the assertion and that's done. But here the case is different. So now uh, let's open the Visual Studio Code and now let's learn about this expect here. So let me go here and let me create one file here and let me say it as expect assertions.js. Right? And simply um, let me copy this from here and paste it here now we know that we need to use a describe block describe and let me name it as learn bd explicit assertions and you know that we need to use a callback function here and the body of that function now we will be using it block here, simply it. And then again, uh, let me validate complex data using using expect. And again, uh, we need to use a callback function here, and simply this one here. Now, um, simply let me do one thing here. Cy dot visit and let me go to um, any website uh, let me go to www dot google dot com for example okay and let's save this one and now let's go here and run this script here before we actually proceed so expect assertions.js and it is taking us to google.com yes it's uh, working fine we are the google 
youtube.com page and this is a search engine uh, right now uh, we don't have any kind of uh, data specific kind of a data so for this tutorial what i'll do is that i will create that data and assert so for this tutorial let's uh, start from the very very basic thing and let me put comments here so first we will learn this simple string verification verification and under this uh, what we will do is that let me create one variable and let me name it as um, page name and L should be small here and page name equals to what I will say is that Google home page okay so we assume that this is a text and this is dynamic text coming from the application but here for this tutorial we have defined it intentionally to learn the expect so now what kind of assertions we can perform on this one so there are a lot of expect and this is a very basic we will move towards the arrays and objects in this tutorial as well so simply what we are expecting expect and this page name then dot to dot not dot equal and what we are saying is that this page name which contains the value google home page should not be equal to let's suppose we are saying it as google simple as that now uh, let me save this one and let's go back here and yes the assertion here is passed and you see this expected google home page to not to equal this google and this is correct that's why the task case has passed now uh, let me go back here and let me change it to google home page here now these are actually equal but we are asking cypress that this should not be equal right so this time it should oh, actually let me say this again and on this one and this time you see expected google home page not to equal this one but this is our equal that's why a session failed now uh, let me go back here and put the google here so now this time this will pass now what else we can do just like if we are checking that our dynamic text or the text coming from the application is not equal to the particular text uh, similarly we can say that this page name dot to be dot equal so this is here now let me paste it here now this assertion will pass here in this case and you will see expected google home page to equal to google home page okay now what else we can do uh, we can also check that either this home uh, google home page is a string or not this again really simple expect then page name dot to b dot a uh, to be a and what is to be a it should be a string that's it save this one and let's just run this one and you see expected google home page to be a string and yes it's a string that's why it's passed now we can also put more assertions on this one for example if i want to assert the characters in this particular string so if i count the characters so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so they are somewhere around 13 and 14 right so simply we can assert the length of this string and again uh, this page name dot to dot have or length dot of dot at dot 
most. Right? And here, let me give it 13 and see what happens here. If the length is 13, it will pass, else it will fail. So, in actual, it got 15 and we provided 13. That's why a session failed. So, expected homes to have a length of at most. This at most means this is a maximum we are expecting, right? This, there's, there's no hard and fast equality here at most, right? So, if I change this to at most 15, so let's see. And this time it's passed. So these are very basic assumptions and we can also assert the string using the should as well. Now let's take something different, which is something complex. And now let's learn that thing as well. So uh, let me write as now validating. So if we're talking about APIs, so usually you will be getting the objects. So validating the objects is really important here to learn. So let me create an object here. So let person is equals to and here I'm creating an object and let me say it has first name and the name is basically testing here the last name uh, is basically last name last name equals to so basically colon and is under right so this is a very basic object we have created here and this object is basically defining one thing here so it has the first name and it has the last name so this is a very basic object and now let's understand how we can assert this one so again let's suppose that you want to assert the whole object so th this is the complete object right and we want to compare or we want to assert the whole object so we can also do that using the expect so expect and expect name of object here because it contains this whole first name and last name with the values then dot to dot deep dot equal and here we need to provide the complete object so this is a complete object here let me copy this one and it's deeply equal so deeply means it will compare the whole object here so uh, let me save this one and see what happens and yes expected this first name and last name to deeply equal to this object first name and last name and the assertion is passed if there is any change it will fail eventually so now um, let's take more examples and if you see this uh, if we talk about this assertions so there's one very common thing here like if we want to ensure that this particular object contains this property you know as you see this is a property and the first name is a property last name is a property and we are expecting that this the object we are getting should have this property so we can also assert this thing as well so I expect and again the person actually is the name of object dot to dot have dot property so we are setting the property here and which property we are expecting here we are expecting this last name for example and yes now save this one and see what happens so you see this object has this property last name now if we want to assert that the value of uh, this particular property we can simply go here and the value of the property let me copy this one and paste it here and save this one so you see 
that to have a property and last name of funder so that's how you can do the very basic assertions uh, on the object now um, let me go back and now what we will do is that we will be asserting now let me put a comments here Eating arrays so now let me create one array here for example employee employee ids okay and this is a very basic you know array one comma two comma three comma four comma five now if you're getting some kind of a array in the response or from the application you want to assert that you can expect so that's again um really simple so first thing we can assert is that if we are getting some ids in a sequence like one two three four five this is sequence so we can assert this sequence as using the expect so expect and employer ids provide the ids here and then dot two dot have dot ordered dot members so we are checking the orders that the order is same so what order we are expecting we need to provide the order for example we are checking that it should be one comma two comma three comma four comma five now save this one and see yes expected to have the same order as this so we got passed here else we can do uh, for example you have this array right and you want to check that this array should contains two right so this is our test again simply this is very easy and let me provide name of array here dot two dot include so include will check that either it will contain this or not save this one go back here and you see expected one two three four five array to include this two that's why it's passed if i go here and change it to six now this time it will fail and you will see it will fail expected this to have include six but this is not present that's why the assertion got failed here and let me go back here and let's change it to two here and now for example if you want to check that this array contains multiple values right now we checked only one like we check that two is should be in the this particular array but if we say two or three should be part of this array how we can do this again this is really simple here I expect and employ ids dot two dot include dot members because this time we are saying that we are not checking the orders we are not checking the order we are saying that this array should include these members which members so here because these are multiple members again we need to provide in such a way so let's see three and two if i save this one it will pass because this particular array has this three and two and to be a super set of this one right and if i go here and change it to six now let's see what happens so it's fail because this particular array does not contains this six that's why it got fails so that's all about uh, this expect in our upcoming tutorial we will cover the assert in detail thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial